everybody, it's Brittany, and today, well, I already, I just finished recording the Hot Topic haul, and I decided that I was too impatient to wait for these, these, and actually I forgot to tell you that they, the names of these are Cinnamon and Berry Sinister, but yeah, I decided that I did not want to wait, I want to try these. I'm going to be doing a liner on camera to, um, see how well this works, and I'm going to warn you. I'm not the best at liner. I can get a good line, but it takes me a hot second, so um, be patient with me. There might be some fast forwarding through this because I am uh, not sure how this is going to turn out. And then I figured that today, I mean, I do have mascara on, which isn't the best situation to be starting off with, but I do not have any eyeliner on today, and I really want to try these. So, <sighs> let me just... uh prepare myself for this. I have my mirror here and this is what the wand actually looks like and let me swatch it. Oh! It actually is very um, nice. <laughs> How else do you describe liner? It goes on really smooth and it doesn't have any, well it has a little bit of skipping but my hand is also a lot more um, like textured than my eyelid. Um, so I'm procrastinating in case you were wondering. I'm trying to think of what I actually need to get this done. I need, uh, let's see, my book that has, by the way, I would recommend to any of you to buy these. But I would definitely recommend getting one of these. These are the e.l.f. This one's a well. I guess I should find the camera. <laughs> this one's a little dirty. But these are great. So, like, you see the line? It's great for getting rid of things and touching up. I use it a lot to touch up, um, like, a line uh, a along the edge before I do my lower lash line. Just so that way, you know, you can make everything more symmetrical. And my under eyes are starting to crease a little bit. It's been a long day. Me and Josephine have had some experiences. Anyways, I'm going to get that out. Um, I think that's all. And today is going to be good because I actually have a gel, like, like a cream liner on. So we'll see how this holds up if it, you know, gets weird. Because you know how sometimes when you do eyeshadow and you have either glittery ones or cream ones, sometimes it'll stop working right after, like, the first eye. And now I've just committed myself to doing both of them on camera. <laughs> so, <laughs> wish me luck, please. Okay. Let's start. Does this? No, this doesn't go on the end. And I'm going to grab another mirror that I have just because I don't want that one to fall over on me. I guess I could use, you know, the fact that I have this one, but this one is one of those bendy ones that, you know, I can use to stand. And I'm going to need all the reinforcements I can get. All right. So, first, oh, I can't even get the angle right because. I usually have this super duper close. Hold on. Okay. You might see my desk. Say hello. It's this beautiful philandry type stuff that's on my desk. Okay. So sorry if you if that bothers you. I hope it doesn't. So let's get to lining. But that's my line for now. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to zoom you in because I accidentally did my line too narrow. And I will show you. Can you see how I have two lines here? So what I would do is I would take this. And if you look now, 
the second line that I had above it is gone. Now, it can leave a little bit of a gray behind, which I don't, and by the way, I do know that there is a huge bump in my, my, um, wing right now. I'm going to fix that. But, um, it can leave a gray line depending on, um, where you put it this and if you have light shadows on so I would caution you to be a little bit careful so with that and today I have a feeling that these wings are going to be cousins and not sisters I do like this brush, plus it's not the easiest thing to do when you have mascara, currently ha having a, a good old time on your lashes. Alright. I guess I could fix her over here. I'm calling them hers. That's my deciding factor in this world. Now, I will say this. With these, these can be extremely oily. That's how they remove them so easily. So if you think you're going to go back over it with the liner, you're going to be mistaken. And what I did right there was I had, you can probably see where I kind of smudged it right there. And I'm just, that's just where I fixed it. I'm done for the day, so like, I'm not going anywhere, I'm not doing anything, so I can easily do that. I'm going to get concealer. But I wouldn't do, <laughs> obviously, the top of your lid, but if you um, have to, you can, and you could always get a different, smaller brush to go back over it. I'm just going to take a little bit of concealer, and I'm going to put it in this outer corner right here, just so that I have a product in that corner, because with just this it will not cling. It won't, you won't be able to do a line on there. It'll just fluff off. And this one's a little sharper. I don't care. You know what? I will say this. This is, it's by Catrice. It's the Catrice, um, because I broke it, <laughs> so it's got this sticker on it to hold the packaging together. This is the Catrice, da, 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 da. Glam Fusion Powder to Gel Eyeshadow. And the color, I think, John Snows. And that's what I have on my eyelid. So it is more of a gel-like consistency um, to it. And I have no skipping whatsoever. So I will give this product that. It does seem like it's a smooth and easy to use. I like how thin the one one side is. It makes it very easy for me to get smaller lines because I don't like thick wings. I like them more on the smaller side. So I definitely like this. My eyes aren't falling off so um, I guess it wasn't pre-owned and reshipped to me. <laughs> Which I would really hope to. You see this? Okay, wait, wait. Whatever, we're putting lip balm on in a minute. I was like, my lipstick is being funky. It's, and in, in case you want to know what it is, I have these two. I think this one. Yeah. I have this here, where you put it on my bottom lip. And then it comes a little bit above the top. And then this I have on the ring, which, these are the e.l.f. stains. These are the new ones that they just released in red orange wash for my inner and then Rouge Radiance on the outer. I like the ombre look that it gives, but it looks like it's kind of... It might be the lighting, too. Anyways. Back to the liner. Liner's good. Like the liner. Gonna keep the liner. Gonna use the liner. The other... Oh, the other one that I was talking about that was really good, if you want... When I want to do a more dramatic line, is the double eyeliner. This one. Because you have this really thin... Oh, this really thin point on one side. 
and then this really thick point on the other. Now, what I have found with this one, though, is that once you put your line down, do not attempt to go over it with this one because it will start, it dries super quick and it'll start to peel off. I'm actually going to, now that I'm thinking about it, I'm going to see if I can go over it, this one. This one does not have that problem, and this one is the hot or hook line and sinker liner. So this one does not do it. I like this one. I will be using this one again. So I like this one for the thick edge because it's good for going in very easily on the front of the line and, or during the inner corner of the line, and I like the shape of it. This one skips around a little bit more, but with the one that I just did, which is the black heart hook, line, and sinker, I probably mentioned that six times now because, you know, re-recording things. Not re-recording, but starting over things. Um, and losing train of thought. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I like the liner. And I hope you enjoyed the 20 minutes it took me to put it on, which it really wasn't 20 minutes, but it felt like it. it. felt like an eternity, and I need to move that mirror. Have you ever noticed, like, when there's a mirror near you, you just, like, can't help but continuously look at it? Because it's there. It's like with this viewfinder. I keep looking at me, but I really should be looking at you all. Anyways, back to these weird lip freak by Lip Bang. All right, it says... Just pucker up and smear this awesome balm on your kisser. Within a minute, your lips are going to freak out. We're talking about a crazy vibrating buzz that isn't like anything you've ever felt before. I'm excited. Freak out the next person you kiss when you transfer Lip Freak from your lips to theirs. Feels electric, super powerful, 100% natural, super moisturizing. And... <laughs> It says right here, the Urban Dictionary defines lip bang as either a term for making out or a mustache. Why? <laughs> I'm trying to see. It says that it's all natural. It does not say, though, that it is cruelty free. I mean, I guess I could look it up. If I remember to look it up, I'll put it down in the description if this is cruelty free as well. Um, it just says it's natural, so... Anyways, so we've got Berry Sinister. Oh, I ruined the cool thing on the top. All right, and let me. I'm gonna smell them. This one smells like cranberries, literally. Just like cranberries, like that cranberry Jello that you have that sometimes at Thanksgiving. We used to always have that at my Thanksgiving at my dad's at my grandma's. She used to make hers like crazy with walnuts and stuff. And this one tastes, smell, tastes, <laughs> tastes, I haven't tasted it. I'm not going to, I'm scared. It's natural though, so I'm assuming that it's okay. And it goes on my lips, so I assume it's food grade. It said it's FDA approved, so it's not going to kill me. I dropped it. This one is peppermint. I'm just going to go, I'm going to go in with, I'm going to be eating dinner here soon, so I'm just going to go in with the Berry Sinister, because mint does not mix when you do eat, so. Sorry, the mirror's down here. You having fun? Am I doing something wrong? Maybe I'll put more on. Just, just keep packing. Just keep packing it on. Doesn't seem to be doing anything. I mean, it feels. It could be though psychosomatic too. It feels weird, like on the inside of my lips. Like right here. It, it, like I said, it could be psychosomatic, though, because I'm being told that something's going to happen, so here I am thinking that something's happening. <sighs> I don't think it does anything. It's not that intense. 
the way they made it sound was that my lips were going to start vibrating and I was going to be like yeah. I like it though. It smells good. Kind of smells like I said cranberry, but it kind of reminds me of like a cranberry like um incense because it's got like kind of an a weird incense-y kind of smell to it. I don't know. Maybe it's me. Anyways, I'm going to call this um, a non-buzz. <laughs> I'll try the other one um, later on. I kind of don't want to just, I mean, if this one didn't work, and like I said, I'm, gonna, I'm about to go eat. So I will try the other one later on, me and Josephine. We're going to try it. And if anything's different with that one, I'll let you know. Um, as far as a lip balm, it's nice. I mean, it's a seven dollar lip balm. Is it a lip balm? I don't know what they're calling it. Chapstick is what I call them. Um, but uh, yeah, I'll let you know if anything changes, if it makes any difference, if the scent makes any difference. Maybe this one just isn't as strong as the other one because the other one's mint, and it's the same way with Burt's. Like with Burt's, the mint ones were always the ones that kind of gave your lips that um, more of the burn feeling that you would get from using Burt's Beeswax and then the other ones were just normal. So I will try the other one. We'll see how it goes. Um, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I look forward to making another video with you. I thought about doing the lip swatch video today, but because the camera died and I don't really feel like swatching at this angle because the lighting is a lot worse over here than it is on the other side where you actually see like a wall and my bookshelf, bookshelves. By the way, somebody commented in another one of my videos about being in a library, and no, I'm not in a library. This is my book collection. I have read every single one of these books, minus this bottom shelf over here, like one of these, just one shelf down here, is books that I haven't read. Um, I haven't read in a while, though. When I read, I read a book a day. Like, I get really into reading, and uh, so... But yeah, I haven't really read a lot lately. I don't know why. I should start reading again. I haven't really found any series that I'm, like, totally into. Like, the last series that I read, I waited until all of the Cassandra Clare's City of uh, Bones series came out. And then I bought them all and just read them straight through for, like, a week. I think it was a week. One, two, three. Yeah, it was six books. It was always about a week. And then, um... I got really obsessed with them, so then I ended up going and buying the prequel one with... This one, the Clockwork series. And this one is my all-time favorite. Like, out of the series, I like the prequel a lot better than I like the other books. The other books are really good, don't get me wrong. Don't, don't come hating me because I said that. I like them all, but I just loved the first, the prequel, so much. And, um, I actually, I think I might reread Harry Potter again. I do have them all. And I can't remember if I read the last one, Deathly Hollows, because I bought those as they came out. I don't remember if I read that one actually or not. Um, but yeah, uh, these are all my books. They're all the ones that I read or have read. And, um, I actually have these books over here, and then I have some books over there, and then I have these books back here, which these are mixed in like if you look over here like this is a book box that I put makeup in this is also a book box book box and then this one over here is a book box but then I've got Grimm's Complete Fairy Tales Sir Arthur Conan Doyle the complete works and then I have the complete illustrated works of Lewis Carroll right here and these ones are genuine books like so I have a lot of books <laughs> I read a lot well, I should say that I used to read a lot. I haven't... I still read. I just haven't read in a long time. I also need to finish out PC Cast, um, the House of Night books. The last one I have that I read was, well, Neferet's Curse, but as far as the actual series, I don't think these are in order. They're probably not in order. Um, I have Marked, Betrayed, Chosen, Untamed... Hunted, Tempted, Burned, Awakened, I think Destined might have been the last one, or it could be Hidden. 
I don't know if these, because we move so often, I don't know if they're actually still in order. And I've moved these bookshelves recently a couple of times, trying to get, like, when I put this in between them. So, because they used to be closer together, you couldn't see the gap. There was no gap there, but now there is. Um, so, I don't know if they're still in order. And I haven't read them in a long time. I know Neferet's Curse was the last one, or was it Lenobia's Vow? Vow. I said Lenobia's Vow. <laughs> Lenobia's vow. Or was it Drac? I don't know. I think it was Nefret's Curse was the last one that actually came up, but those are part of the miniseries. The, the kind of, like, backstory of certain characters. And it was! Um, yeah. Uh, no. Not in a library. Yes, totally in my little nook in my bedroom. I have, like, a little nook because the closet's on the other side of this wall. So they, they have this weird nook that I don't understand anyways, but those are mine. They don't belong in a library. They're mine. I don't know what library has unicorn crossing signs and, you know, my little pony hanging out over here. Don't know what library does that. But if you do know one that has that, let me know. I want to go there. That sounds like my kind of library. Anyways, I love you, beautiful unicorns. And I hope you come join me for another video, like a lip swatch video. I'm kind of scared. My lips are sensitive. They're so big. No, they're tiny. And I don't want to hurt them. So, I guess I will see you guys in the next video. Mwah!